In this video, I will show you how to create timestamps in Excel. Here timestamp refers to the date and time automatically recorded when we enter data into an Excel worksheet. In the formula for timestamps, we will be combining if and now functions. For those who haven't heard of now function before, this function returns the current date along with current time. An important thing to note before creating the formula. In the formula for timestamp, we will be using circular reference. Normally when a formula contains circular reference, Excel will return an error message. So to avoid that, go to the file tab, more, options, in the Excel options dialog, formulas, mark this checkbox against the label, enable iterative calculation. Ok. Now to record the date and time of entry into the adjacent cell, whenever we enter data into any cell of this column, we'll select this cell, equal, if function, open parenthesis, first argument of if function is logical test. To check whether the adjacent cell is having any data in it, select the adjacent cell, not equal to null value, comma, second argument of if function is value if true, the value to return if adjacent cell is not blank. Again we will use if function. First argument of if function is logical test. Here we will check whether this cell, I mean the cell where we are creating the formula contains the value or not. For that, type in the address of this cell. Address of this cell is C3. C3 not equal to null value. Comma. Second argument of if function is value if true. If this cell is already having a value, return that value itself. For that, once again we will use the address of this cell, C3, comma. Third argument of if function is value if false, the value to return if this cell is blank. In that case, to return current date and time, use now function. Close parenthesis, comma. Third argument of the first if function, or else the outer if function is value if false, the value to return if this cell is blank. If this cell is blank, return nothing. For that, double quotes, double quotes, close parenthesis, enter. Now when I enter data into the cell, the adjacent cell will have a number equivalent to the current date and time. To display the date and time corresponding to this number, right click on the cell, format cells, custom, We'll select this format, date followed by time. And if you want to display the seconds, colon, type in SS. See, we have the seconds here. OK. And now we have the date and time of entry. We'll copy this formula into the cells below. Now, whenever I enter data into any of these cells, instantly the adjacent cell will generate a timestamp. But one disadvantage of this method is, the timestamp won't update if we modify the existing data. For that we can make use of a user defined function created using VPA for Excel. Here we are using this UDF called timestamp for generating dynamic timestamps. We'll talk about this UDF in the next video. Until then, take care and keep on excelling.